So now the World Cup is over as far as I'm concerned. England are out. The madness is out of the way. That has massively preoccupied me. But as I said, after I did the Ronaldo video, I'm back. I'm sorry it's taken a little bit longer than we all expected and wanted, but we're back. And let's talk about the transfer window because Man United so far, it's been a little bit underwhelming, isn't it? You know, we've got Fred, a very good, hopefully, central midfielder to boost an area of the pitch that we needed to strengthen. And we've also got Diogo Dalot, who to me looks like more of an understudy to Antonio Valencia at right back and whoever plays left back for Manchester United next season. But looking around, you see Liverpool have got Navi Keita, they've got Fabinho, two fantastic signings. Man City have signed Mares. Chelsea look like they're going to sign Jorginho, going to get Sarri in as a new manager. Arsenal have got Emery in and a horde of experience, not that exciting, but experienced signings. Spurs haven't done too much. And neither really have Manchester United. And we play Leicester, what is it, the 10th of August, something like that? Maybe a little bit earlier. But the window closes earlier this summer. First time it's been brought around, it's not the 31st of August, it's before the first game of the season. And with the World Cup happening, Manchester United don't have that long left to secure what I think is an essential two signings and an ideal three signings, let alone players leaving. So I want to know from you in the comments is, do you think Manchester United are failing in the summer transfer window so far? Or are you confident that Jose Mourinho and the club will get the signings over the line that we need to complete this squad going into next season? Now, I'm probably both. I think Man United have failed in that, you know, we go away on our pre-season tour to America on Sunday and Fred and Diogo Delot are the only two that are confirmed. So any other signings we do make won't get a full pre-season with the club. And that's very important for bonding with the players, gelling with the squad and just getting used to being a Manchester United player because it is different than being a player for most other clubs. Now, ideally, we would have signed the players before the World Cup. That would have left us in the best situation because then we would have had plenty of time to get the transfers out of the way. They would have been bedded into the squad. Happy days. We haven't really been able to do that. But on the flip side, I'm still confident that Man United and Mourinho will get the signings over the line in the next three weeks. Now, I think we need a new centre-back. I think we probably still need a new full-back and ideally a left-back. You know, I don't want another season of saying, oh, why aren't you playing Luke Shaw, Jose Mourinho, being stuck with Ashley Young? You know, he had a fantastic World Cup, but it's still Ashley Young and I'm still convinced that we are not capable of properly moving forward as a club with Ashley Young at left-back. He's too limited. He's not a modern-day left-back. He'll do a job, but he's not a modern-day left-back and we need that. Um, so I still think we need a left back and a centre back and ideally probably a new right winger. I think, you know, Rashford's played there, Lingard's played there, Matter's played there. No one's cemented that spot. You've got Sanchez has got the left wing. And if Martial is going to be here next season, Sod knows where he's going to play, but he's much better on the left than he is on the right. I think we need those three signings. And I do think we've got time, or we've clearly got money, to get those over the line. And maybe the targets that we were looking at was just the wrong time. You look at uh, Alexandro from Juventus. Now, he wasn't even in the Brazil squad, so that actually could have been done the whole time. And he's, it seems like he's ready to leave there. And Juventus haven't just spent 100 million on Ronaldo. Maybe they're ready to make some money too. Would you take Sandro? Then centre-backs, I don't know who we're looking at. You've got Alderweireld. Yes, that's a player we've definitely been linked with. But, you know, after he played so well with England, should we consider him for Harry Maguire? A proper old-school British centre-back. Massive forehead just barges through players to get a headers. He could be a perfect complement to Eric Bai. But then Victor Lindelof, he had a pretty good World Cup with Sweden. Should we be playing him more? Do we even need a centre-back? Maybe we don't. Maybe we've already got him in the squad. But personally, I would. It's certainly for the depth that we need in that team. And on right wing, I have no idea. Who would you bring in at right wing? And do you think we actually need a right winger? But with a few weeks left in the window, Man United have made two good signings in Fred and Delot. But we need to make more. Man City's squad is still superior to ours and they've brought Mares in. Don't know how much of a difference he's going to make there. Probably just a squad strengthening signing. But what positions do you think we need to strengthen? Do you think that Man United have failed so far in the transfer window? And do you think that we've got enough time to get the signings over the line in the next few weeks that we need to to make the squad ready to compete for the Premier League next year? As I said, we head out for the pre-season on Sunday, so we'll see who goes out there and what happens in the next few weeks. We'll have everything covered on United People's TV now that the World Cup madness is over. Subscribe if you're new. Drop a like on the video, as always. Take it easy.